Hello! In this video I am going to show you how to do these seven simple spring flower doodles. <laughs> That's easy for me to say and let's get on with it. <laughs> for these doodles then you obviously need a piece of paper, a pencil, a rubber to rub out your pencil later and a fine liner but I'm using Biro today because my fine liners are at the end of their lives and I haven't got any more. I tend to do the doodle flowers not in pencil so it literally is a pen doodle but if you want to do pencil first we shall do that because then you can kind of adjust the lines afterwards and you will go over these a couple of times. So our first flower is a crocus so we're just going to do a straight stem like that. One little petal in there, that's the little yellow stamen in the middle. One bit that loops around there, one bit that loops around there. And then three petals at the back there. So going over that. You could do the petal first and then bring the stem off that like that. Do another one here. And then crocus leaves are just very short, straight and spiky. So just put some random leaves in like that. Daffodil next, and I'm going to do a couple of different daffodils. So trumpet first, let's do a circle on that at the minute. And then petals coming off like this. Easier to turn your paper around if you're doing petals round like this. So you can do them all from the same angle. So then when you go over with your pen, you can do your trumpet like that and then a little frilly edge like that. And then a fatter bit there just to go down into the stem. And then this is a really fun little way to do a daffodil. So I'm going to do a circle and then a bigger circle and then do one triangle like that and another triangle like that because they do actually tend to have six petals and I've already done five on that. I know. <laughs> and then once you've got that structure in with your pencil you can do some kind of little stamens there in the middle. Again, a frilly circle for the trumpet like that. And then on the three bits like this, kind of curve round your triangles. Going right to the edge there and then the remaining three curve your triangles. And then on some of these, just do like random kind of curl over of the petals and then you can do a stem coming off if you like. Daffodil leaves are really straight, quite straight and thin. 
If you want to do it in pencil first, do one like that, one like that, and then you can go over that bit and then that bit. Let's just see what this looks like without the pencil lines. Just to give you a better idea and the leaf as well. Moving on to tulips again, I'm going to do a couple of different tulips. So again, straight stem. This is going to be a really, really simple one. So you've just got one kind of big leaf there. And then a little hint of one there. And then one over there. And it's super simple. That is literally one, two, three, four, five lines. Again, you can then do the petal first if you want to bring the stem out. So one, two, three, four, five. How simple is that? But when you have a few together, they all look really good. This one, I'm going for a different shape here. So again, we've got the stem. And then kind of starting from like up here, I'm going to come down and round and up and kind of just take it out a little bit, flare it out. And then never decide whether it's better to go from the top or the bottom. So we'll go from the bottom. So from the middle, and then you go up and round and then towards that bit. And then here you come this way, you go back into that line and then up like that and then a shape like that. What you can also do if you're doing the pen over the pencil, and I do it quite often, is if with the pencil thing you feel like it's too big, then you can just slightly adjust it with the pen instead of having to rub out the pencil and then do it in again. Then tulip leaves can actually be quite broad. So we'll just pop a few in here. And again, sometimes they do flop over. So let's just do that in behind. There. If you're doing it in biro, either leave it a little while to dry before you rub it out or make sure you don't have a very slodgy pen. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. Gonna do an arch of stem for all the flowers and then off the top one they are quite round the flowers so if you do it a circle like that and then come off and it'll flick there and then just some kind of frilly little petal bits there so get your shape there little flick and I've run out of space for the last one <laughs> Then really, really broad leaves for these. Then 
I'm going to make this stem wider as well, so I'm just going to take it from there up to there. Bring this off. Bring that down. Like that. It should have been like that. So, I'm going to hug the circle. going to leave that to dry to rub it out so I'll show you it later. Mascari. These are such cute little plants. I'm going to do a stem and then most of them are kind of like a triangular shape, overly triangular shape like that so we're just going to do the basic shape there. Then little circles at the top, really tightly packed. And then they kind of come into, or well they're actually bell-shaped flowers, but because we're simplifying this, I'm just going to come into some oval shapes and then do them not quite tight, so tightly packed at the bottom. So I'm going to do this, the circles, before I do the stem on this one, because then I can do them over. So I'm actually not quite going specifically over the ones that I've done but it was just to give me an idea probably didn't really need to do the pencil but if you feel more confident doing it in pencil first and then let's just bring that stem out there and again the leaves are very straight that's quite quite a good thing about the spring flowers is because the flower needs all the light, the leaves aren't very big, so you just have to literally do very thin leaves like that. Moving on to a fritillary. This is one of my favourite spring flowers and I've never ever grown them. So hopefully in our new garden, I might actually manage to put some in. So we're gonna do a drooping stem like that then they're actually quite square and boxy on the top. So a line like that, and then I'm gonna do a middle petal like that. And then bring this down and just join it to there. Super simple. Again, whoa, tiny leaves. I'm gonna go over that there. <laughs> Let's do this one better. It's, it's probably the angle. There. See sometimes I'm more confident with the pen <laughs> and I just do it. <laughs> so on this I'm going to actually do that first and then oh my oh nothing's working my pen's going do this leaf and then I have covered the primrose in my daily doodles but let's do another one I can't remember whether this was the same or not uh, if you didn't catch that that was 21 different doodles during lockdown so I shall link the playlist in the corner Start with a circle and we're going to do five petals which are like almost heart shaped. So one and leave a gap between that line and that line. You might want to turn your paper. Two. I'm going to do one here. 
three and then I can kind of make this one come up like from under this bit three four no five <laughs> one two three four five Oh, I've lost count and then we're going to do the little kind of yellow bit in here so it's like a little right angle from the circle bit here so like that you can do a point like that but what I would do when you go in over it is try and just curve it at that bit or not make it quite as pointy so let's do the little circle in the middle my pen really doesn't like going over the pencil you see I've adjusted that line slightly And that one as well. And then for the leaves, quite long, and some of them have a little kind of little, uh, almost like the um, the the divot of the flowers. Some of them have a little dip out of the end. There you have seven simple doodle flowers, all really easy to do, but the main thing is practice, practice, practice. I hope you have fun with them. This is just showing them without all the pencil marks. And once you draw a mass of these, they really do look good. And obviously once they get coloured in. I hope you have enjoyed this video about how to draw spring flowers, seven different varieties. For more content please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to see when I bring out content and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!